I just want to give a big old shout out to my personal favorite actor of all time, Al Pacino, of course, in many great films, such as from, well, one of the posters that's right behind me. Of course, everybody knows Scarface with the scanners and look at all my tigers. Scent of a woman. Devil's advocate, yeah! Serpico, Heat, the list goes on. We could be here all day. He's the best at what he's done. And even though he's been in a whole host of stinkers as well, the man is still living his best life, even after his 82nd fucking birthday. And of course, of course, the accusations of cradle ropping are still out there because his girlfriend, uh, Noor Afala, who's a, a, quite a fetching young lady, 28 years old, nice little inversion there. He's celebrating his 82nd birthday. She's, you know, to live in her best life at 80 you're at 28 years old. But no, he's disgusting for doing that. But if the roles were reversed and it was Karen Pacino celebrating her 82nd birthday with her 28-year-old beau, it would be a totally different discussion now, wouldn't it? But this broad uh, Afala there, she is hilarious because she likes mold. Let's, let's just be completely honest here. She's been previously linked to Mick Jagger, who is uh, four years younger than Al Pacino, a, a ripe old age of 78. But Al is not a exactly the oldest person that she's ever been linked to she you know what um was right there with clint eastwood as well you know what hey uh she is definitely you know a big fan of the 70s like some of the biggest names of that era unfortunately it's 2022 so you know what? hey if she could have struck while the iron's hot she might, she might have been able to you know what make out with some cash but good for her supplying these old boys with a nice cheap thrill on their way out Al Pacino and his much younger girlfriend. Oh my god, how disgusting. Even though he's Al fucking Pacino, he can continue to flex on these broads until the day he fucking dies. There's nothing wrong with this at all. Hope if I achieve even a modicum of Al Pacino's success and I'm 82 years old and I could be fucking flexing on these fools with a 28 year old. Delicious. On Sunday, the Godfather uh, star, last Sunday, not today, Sunday, uh, was pictured celebrating his 82nd birthday at an Italian restaurant, Jones in West Hollywood, California, and he was accompanied by Noor, a 28-year-old, who appeared to be rallying his pals around inside. The 54-year-old age gap doesn't appear to be a problem for the new couple either. That's hilarious. As they were seen in high spirits while enjoying their night out on the town for the octogenarian's big day. You know what? Honestly, like, they got pictures of him other than just looking crazy and homeless. You wouldn't really be able to notice that he's 82 years old. I wish him nothing but a long, healthy, successful life because I didn't see the Irishman and I know that it was just kind of greeted with, like, a, a lukewarm reception. But we need a... We need a resurrection of mafia films if we've ever needed anything else before in Hollywood. Because there's right now, there's a little bit of a Western re renaissance, but uh, some sword and sandal flicks and then some mafia films. That'd be great. That'd be great. Just don't make The Godfather Part 4. Nobody wants that. Proving that he's still young at heart, Pacino was also spotted carrying a Shrek iPhone case for the memes, I guess. Uh, hopefully his ringtone is um, all-star. That'd be great. As he was helped to the uh, help to his car, which is not the first time he's been pictured with the accessory. That's nice. Both Pacino and Nor went out in matching attire for the evening, dressed in all black. Yeah, he was wearing glasses and she was wearing a mask, but is she afraid of catching consumption from the old man? Like, what the fuck? Nor is no stranger to dating older men, uh, having previously enjoyed a romance with Mick Jagger. Hey, how appropriate. I didn't even realize that. Uh, and even linked with Clint Eastwood. New Jack, Dirty Harry, and Michael Corleone. Jesus. <laughs> Meanwhile, Pacino's last serious relationship with, with, with an Israeli actress, uh, Mattel Dolan, they split up when Mattel was 40 and El Pacino was 79. Good. Show that old bitch the curb. Uh, the actor has three children, a daughter, Julie, whom shares an acting coach, uh, Jen Tarrant with the two twins, Anton and Olivia, 21 from a previous relationship with actress Beverly D'Angelo. That's awesome. You know what? Uh, those pictures there, pretty flattering for one of them. But you know what? Hey, for Al on the left there, uh, that's him getting into his vehicle. But um, that's a Toyota Corolla. Anyways, uh, news of the couple's age gap romance hit headlines this past week after they were, they were recently spotted enjoying a dinner date together in Los Angeles. And sources have claimed that they've been seeing each other since the pandemic. Okay, let's let's be honest here. Do we really think that this is going to be a long-lasting romance? Are they seeking? Are they wildly in love with one or one another? 
or is this just a serial opportunist just trying to give a guy on the way out just the final fucking thrill of his life and he's just there because you can get some fucking fine ass on the way out that's exactly what this is this is a transactional relationship and who's really hurting this I don't know, the tabloid writers who are just big hurt that they can't get anybody nearly as fucking attractive as that. That's all this is. It's just jealousy all the way down. Speaking to page six, an unnamed insider added that the age difference between the Godfather actor and the Kuwaiti American film producer doesn't seem to be a problem, despite the fact that Al is older than Noor's father. Yeah, and he's probably a big fan of his career, like most people with eyes. The insider added, she dates mostly very rich older men, but that's important. She dates them, okay? She doesn't marry them, okay? These guys aren't stupid enough to put a fucking ring on it and risk a lot of their legacy. They just pay for her lifestyle and her leggings and shit. And her, in turn, I don't know, fucking sits there and listens to story about back in my day. This is not the first time that Nora has enjoyed, enjoyed a relationship with older Hollywood heavyweight. She dated the Hollywood heavyweight, the Rolling Stones front man, Mick Jagger. Listen, okay. Uh, when The Rocker was 74 and she was just 22. Okay, big ups to Mick Jagger. I think he might have Al beat, even though he is 80 plus. Hitting something that's still under 30. Oh, I don't know. What's a bigger flex? The fact that Mick was 74 and she was, ooh, 22? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of a coin toss. Following the end of their romance, Nora revealed her thoughts on their age difference, admitting that plenty of people made comments. Just butthurt idiots but insisting that it didn't matter to her. Obviously, it's not like this is a one-off. Like they said, Clint Eastwood, now Al. He seems to have a thing about weird smells from old wrinkles. Her ages didn't matter to me, she, she told hello. Oh, hi. Uh, the heart doesn't know what it sees. It only knows what it feels. It was my first serious relationship, but it was a happy time for me. Kind of a, like of a strange thing to get into your first serious relationship with a guy who has a, a laundry list of bodies in his wake but you do you i guess after she and mick parted ways nor was linked to director and actor clint eastwood 91 in 2019 however she insisted the pair were just family friends <laughs> oh yeah where uh, where did clint store his 44 magnum Noor dated billionaire philanthropist uh, Nicholas Bergen, a yeah, just a toddler at 60 years old in uh, 2018. Uh, she was also spotted enjoying several dates with hostile director Eli Roth. Oh, she's practically robbing the cradle at 49 years old that same year. But those were all friends, right? Noor grew up in the exclusive Beverly Hills uh, neighborhood of Los Angeles, and she studied at the UCA Film School or UCLA Film School, sorry, uh, before going to secure a job as a film producer and. Uh, long-term care provider not gonna lie though good for him both have their social media accounts set to private I'm sure she probably still takes dms and according to her dad's linkedin page he is a president of the company called qa capital whatever that is uh nor is currently working as vice president of linda obes productions at sony and is also repeatedly developed or reportedly developing two feature films with obst but honestly, I've seen the outrage or, you know, backlash of this ever since it's been announced. And, you know, hey, just kind of kept it on the back burner. And then when this came out, as again, it's like, eh, I need to take an opportunity to take a stab at this. Because, yes, if the roles were reversed and this was an elderly woman and a young man, everybody would be clapping. And, oh, my God, that's so wonderful. It's just like when Keanu Reeves said. Uh, took out his aunt i'm sorry his wife nothing against keanu and whatever i'm sure they're happy and whatever oh he's he's such a he's such a lovely guy marrying an age appropriate woman meanwhile you got an older man just once again just pursuing what he wants and what he likes and isn't bowing to social conventions just because other people aren't nearly as successful or accomplished looking at uh Noor's roster of previous suitors she knows exactly what she's doing as well Okay, obviously, yeah, she's getting to be, you know, 28, okay? She's getting to be at her point of diminishing returns, and she's eventually just trying to set herself up. Okay, obviously, she's getting well taken care of, okay? She has a very successful career on the back burner, and then also, you know, hooking up with some of the largest names in the industry for, well, for a large amount of time for the fucking decade. She's getting everything paid for, okay? She's getting very well taken care of. She's setting herself up so when she turns 29, 30, 
I like I said, I hope Al lives a long fucking time, but let's be fair, eventually she's going to want to have kids of her own and she's going to want to start her own family. And for right now, she's just doing what every fucking broad out there wishes that they could do, you know what? Make the most of their sexual peak and fucking set themselves up so they can just, you know what, ride out the rest of their time in the life of luxury and you know what, have a bunch of really cool stories to tell, like being able to fuck all of the stars and the posters of the walls of their parents growing up. Hey, to each their own, right? With all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.